caught on camera. A new video this morning showing drivers illegally passing school buses. The video came from some home security cameras and it's prompting a local mom to push for stop on cameras in her school district. Liza Lucas works to get answers. Every morning, James and Wesley wait with their mom along Chateau Drive for the daily ride to school. I want you to have a wonderful day. Okay. But lately, safely getting on and off the bus has become a concern. After moments like this, drivers flying past the school bus, ignoring the flashing red lights. Can't tell you how many times I've seen people looking down at their phones. Hannah Freeman and her husband became else. so worried they installed these cameras and sent their videos to Rome City Schools, hoping the district would install stop arm cameras on buses to deter drivers from illegally passing. I know that the bus driver and the bus monitor are doing everything that they can. But as far as everybody else, I can't really trust them to be safe on the road. For Hannah, it's another challenge to safely get her boys on the bus. Both of my boys have autism. It's hard to really get both of them to focus in the morning. Georgia was among the first states to allow stop arm cameras on school buses. Atlanta Public Schools, along with Clayton, Cobb, Gwinnett, Fulton, and Henry County Schools, are among the districts who've used the cameras for years. Smaller districts like Decatur and Marietta City Schools also use stop arm cameras and Hannah hopes that Rome City Schools will get on board. I don't want my child getting hurt and I certainly don't want somebody else's child getting hurt. So Rome City Schools tells me in part that they take these concerns seriously and are talking with Rome City Police and city leaders about how to address the issue and is studying the need for stop arm cameras. District bus drivers can also report drivers who illegally pass, and I'm told the district does request extra police patrols when illegal passing increases in an area. It's so good to know that it's not an actual state requirement. Mm -hmm. I thought that since I see them so sure. much that all buses have it. District by district. That's right, and actually the metro districts that do have them, a lot of them told me they kind of strategically place them in those high-risk areas. So right. yes, you see them, they're out there, but maybe not as common as you think. All right, Mama Bear working for change. Yes. Liza, thank you.